Well hello there chums, right me and Exo in today's episode are going to go down to a planet and try and build a pretty simple base that has power, just to give you guys an idea of how to build bases with power. Okay, so see you down at the planet. Well hello there chums, okay right, well I have landed down at a trading post and I'm going to be putting a base computer here. Now on the train post they have actually put ladders in now chum, so that looks quite nice. And the reason why I want to have a train post is because the ground is quite flat underneath. Okay, so here we are, portable, and first thing I need to do is put down a base computer. So there we go. Whoops. And yeah, they've moved it from being X to play stuff to being R1. I mean R2, sorry. And I think the reason being is because now you can use your jetpacks to fly around while doing base building. So it does make sense. So here we are. And yeah, you just claim base as you normally do. You do get some extra features from the base computer after you've built some sort of base, which I will show you towards the end of this little mini tutorial. Okay, so I'm just going to build a pretty simple base for now, chums. Just something very, very, very simple. So okay, just the first thing I want to do is build like a little power hut. Now you don't have to do this. You can build your base and link the power up to it afterwards if you want. But I would like to get the essentials in. And I'm going to build the essentials somewhere under here where I don't really need the space. And then I'm going to build my base over towards the back. That's hopefully going to have a nice little view. Okay, right, so here we are. Uh, so, righty-ho. I want to go into structures first of all, chums. So, structures. Now, it is trying to get me to put down the tech first. But I, I like to put my tech on something. I don't just like technology sitting on grass. To me, it just doesn't look aesthetically pleasing. So, I'm going to at least put down, you know a piece of metal for it to sit on and at the moment for whatever reason it's not projecting it where I would want it to project which is oh it, it is it's just underneath the grass so what I might want to do is rather than just put it flat on the grass is put down maybe a girder just lift it up above the grass slightly wrong button again because yeah that's now your jetpack and yeah then I want my um, panel so I'm probably going to do that quite a lot, chums. If you see me jumping around, it's because I'm still getting used to it being slightly different. Okay, and then what I think I want as well is like a little roof to this. And I'll probably put a, uh, a solar panel on top of the roof. So, here we go. Ah, see, it just brought me back to tech again. It's going to keep doing that until I actually do the mission that it asks me to do. Which is a tad annoying. So let's put another one of those there. And then I just want a little roof on top of this. I may just put one of these glass ones on it. It's weird. It's got glass, but yeah, let's do it with ferrite. So this is going to be my little power area. So right, now for the tech. So if I go into tech, go into here, and yeah, it wants me to put in a bioreactor. Bioreactors are good because you can use it to give yourself fuel, even if the weather conditions aren't right for solar power. So I'm going to stick one of them on there. Kaboom! Oh, I can't yet. I need metal plating. Okay. So let's go into my exosuit. Let's craft some metal plating. There we are. Put that there. Now let's... While I'm in the power menu, let's see just what I need to actually create a solar panel. So I need two metal plates for that. Rather than use up all my ferrite, I might just go buy some metal plates from up here. One sec fly up here. So another good thing about building under a trading post is you have this at your disposal which can save you quite a lot of time and you can come up here buy resources to build your base. So that's a nice little tip for you and it usually has the metal plates in there. Oh salt refractor I need I need another two of those and grab those. You don't see those all that often but you can buy ferrite dust up here as well usually in a higher quantity than I'm seeing here and that's, that's quite poor to be honest but I can buy a couple of metal plates here May as well grab five or four. Yeah, that'll do for now. That'll do for now. So I should be able to then go create those um, solar panels. Let's go back down there. Let's build up my little power station. Okay, so here we are. Looks quite cool, doesn't it? So this is just going to be my little power hut. Now, it, everybody has their own sort of preferred methods of building. There's no correct way. This is not the correct. You could just plonk these straight in the grass if you wanted to. You, you don't need as much. Oh. You don't need as much of the uh, stuff anymore, either as well. So, you know, like this solar panel, you don't need a whole load of them. Just one would do, really, for a small base. It's, it's perfectly fine. So put that there, 
And I need a battery to hook up to this as well. So there we go. I need condensed carbon. Right, well, I, I don't think I can buy that. I'm going to have to go find it. So bear with me. I'll be right back with you guys. Yeah, don't go away now. Because it's going to be instantaneous for you. A little bit longer for me, though. I'm back. Okay, right. Well, here we are back at base. And now I want to put down a battery. So let's go into technology. And uh, let's go into power, first of all. Power. And I want to put down a battery. So the batteries, what they do is they sort of take the power that's coming out of either the solar panels or out of the, uh, the carbon thingy behind it. And yes, yeah, store up that power and use it when I need it. So that's going to be my little power hut. It's uh, very, very crude, isn't it? But yeah, there's my little power hut. Now, what I wanted to power is a room that contains a, um, a teleporter. So, right, so if I go into structures, go into here, and we we'll go for a we we'll go for a round room because you can fit nicer windows into the round rooms. I prefer those. So we go for a little round room. That's just going to house a teleporter. Okay, so there we go. I put that there. Now you will see the grass through the floor, which is a bit of a pain. And let's put a door on it as well. So, yeah, we can have the door there. That'll do. And that should do the trick. So let's go inside and let's just put in a teleporter as well. Okay, so where's that one under? I believe that's under technology as well. Tech. Then I think it's all the way over here. And we've got a teleporter, which is just there. Okay, so there we've got a teleporter. Pow! Missing components. What am I missing? Uh, carbon nanotubes and metal plating. Right, okay, well I can go get those from the trade terminal up here. So bear me one second, guys, and I'll go grab that. Hello again. Right, well, I have now got my uh, portal inside the base, and all I've got to do is now connect all the different parts together. So the way that I do that is just by putting in wiring. So you go into here, go into technology, go up into there, go into here, and there's the wiring. Now the wiring doesn't actually use any sort of materials to actually build, which is good. So you just have points where you want to put it, and then connect it to the point that you want to connect it to. So they're now connected together. But then this battery, I want to link that to the uh, solar panel on the roof as well. So if I click there, I can actually click on the post here, and it'll put a line there, and then I can run it up the side of the post to there. And if I wanted to, I can fly up here, and then I can link it onto the side of here, like so. And then I can bring this side down as well if I really wanted to, just to make it look symmetrical. Put it to the corner up, up on the top of here. Run it down the side there. And into there. Well, not that I needed to, you only need to connect it once, but I just think it looks cool. Then I can run this one over to a point onto here to give it power. I could connect it onto the side of the base there if I wanted. But rather than have it go all the way across there, you can run it down onto the floor first. Now you can sort of bring it across the grass. And then just connect it onto here if you wanted, like that. So yeah, that's all connected together now through the grass. I believe. Yep. And because it's night time, I haven't got no power. So what I want to do is go over to this thing. And I can put in some biomass. And I put in the condensed fuel. There we are. So it tells you how long you're going to have as well, power-wise. If you read it there, just there. So there we are. All good. And it's putting out this sort of level of power. And that should power my little hut over here. Oh, it's not. Okay, um, that's bizarre. Why is that not happening? Okay, well, it's connected. Let's talk to it. Let's see what's going on. Oh, okay, so it's slowly getting its power by the looks of things. Only got 3% power at the moment. So it's time until charged. Then the charge should come out of there and go over to this base. However, I'm going to delete this because it's a bit messy. Delete that. And... Yeah, okay. Right, so there is a wire down on the floor there as well, isn't there? I don't think I connected it that well. So let's um, try that again. So I'm going to go straight to the base this time. You know, it doesn't matter if the cable's there. 
There we are. Now I think that's only connected to the door for some reason. I mean really, it should connect all the way up like that. There we are. Now I've got base going to the whole of oh power going to the whole of the base. And you can see there my um, portal is working as well. But this door went freaking open for some unknown reason. That's bizarre. The door did delete itself momentarily ago. So that's not very good. Um, I have found a little way into a base without needing a door though, chums. So if I go into here... I mean this is a bug at the moment but at least it's going to get me inside my base. Actually let's just de delete the door. This is so, so buggy. The game is really really buggy at the moment chums and it's um kind of annoying. So let's go back into structures and let's just put on a different sort of door. Let's try that. Every single release comes with its own sort of bugs and its own sort of workarounds and you kind of get used to knowing what will work and what won't. So I'm going to put that there instead. There we go, now I can go in and now I can use my base ter terminus. Now once you've got your base sorted, I mean normally I'd build something a little bit more impressive than that, but um, for now, just for this tutorial sake, I'm just going to upload this base. I can um, find my way through the grass. I didn't put it that side, I put it over on this side. And hopefully that's big enough to upload. Let's give it a go. Okay, so you go to capture new screenshot. Then you can take a picture of your base. I mean, it's extremely simple, isn't it, at the moment? But there we are. Kapow. And then you can go to... You can give it a name if you really wanted to, but I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to put upload base for now. Done! That's how you make a simple base with power. Okay, I'm hoping you found that useful. Alright, well, take care. See you later. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. Just before you go, Jums. Okay, so you've seen me build this part. But you didn't see me build this. I, um, yeah, spent a little bit of time building a giant robot freaking spider. So yeah, let me just uh, go into camera mode and I'll show you what I have here. So I built a lot of this using ferrite, but then I've put a load of tech on its head and run some wires down to it to give it its own automation and power. So yeah, there we have it. My little robot spider. And if I go into its rear end, actually I don't need to, but if I did, there's a ladder in there. And that takes you up to the second flight of stairs where you've got a load of frost crystal growing there. So hopefully I'll be able to create some glass from this. This is where I'm going to come back to to get glass. Now I have visited a lot of my other bases that I've made previously in Next and they haven't got enough power. And because they're quite large bases, um, it says that I've reached the base complexity. So I'm having to revisit all my old bases and demolish them. But I'm getting a lot of materials from doing so. And as I'm demolishing them, I'm going to build some new sort of more creative sort of bases like this. So there's no real hardship and I'm loving the whole thing of having to connect power to it. It's another little challenge and I'm really enjoying it. So yeah, thank you. And now for some outtakes that I recorded earlier when we were doing a live base off. Uh, I'll put it into one of my videos at the ending. Uh, with well, the video that I do today, I'll put it as an outtake towards the end, buddy. Can you, can you do any more? Do some more. Go. Oh, you just punched me. And again, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, bad, <laughs> bad boy. Ah. So yeah, Mr. King is in VR right now, and I, I'm in normal it's mode. It's you can't do a safe. Ah, oh, do the YMCA again, buddy. Do the YMCA. YMCA. <laughs> <laughs> Kung Fu. Oh, they ripped off that thing off your arm. Ah oh, dear. Wait, can I actually uh, can I actually get it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's just so creepy. You rip off your arm. No, 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 ripping off my limbs. Uh, your, your elbows are going through your body there, chum. And when you move, it's so weird. Yeah, your yeah. arms just sort of flail around. Yeah. Oh, like that. Yeah. Dab again, sir. Dab. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's so cool. Yeah. You can make your own emotes. This is quite cool. But when you get your multi tool out, I don't see it in your hand. I can see you squeezing the trigger and all sorts, like in your hand, but I can't actually see your multi-tool, which is a real... Sh that sucks. It'd be awesome to be able to see your multi-tool, but I can't see it right now. Yeah. You have got it in your hand, because I'm seeing lasers flying out your feet, which is weird. <laughs> what? But that, that yeah, the, the lasers come out of your feet rather than your hands. It's bizarre. What am I, a transformer? I don't know what's going on, but it, it's, it's seriously broken. But it's hilarious. <laughs>
God dear. Oh my god, it's so creepy, but it's entertaining at the same time. Okay, and thank you very much to all my Patreon and PayPal supporters. Thank you very much there, chums. And if you want to become a Patreon supporter, hop on over to Patreon. There's something there for pretty much everyone. And yes, I am hoping to get a 3D printer that's capable of printing decently detailed ship models, which I'm hoping to send to each of my Patreon and PayPal supporters that back me on a regular basis. And yeah, hopefully to send those out maybe once or twice a year, depending on where in the world you are located. And yeah, my uh, aim is about $400, so I'm a little bit shy of that, but please continue to support me. And this song that you're hearing right now is by Nerve. Go check him out, and here is my own website. And on my website you can find loads of merch, and you can also find Android watch faces, which I'm doing for free, and wallpapers and all sorts of other gnarly stuff. So go and hop on over there. And here's some links to some of my other content. And yes, if you're not already subscribed to my new channel, please do so. Yeah, okay, well thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye now. Cheerio!